arrhythmia means uh, just means it's a medical term used to mean heart rhythm disorders uh, heart rhythm disorders are various types uh, some of them are simple ones uh, which patients presence of palpitation and some could be uh, dangerous uh, arrhythmias that can actually lead to fatal events uh, arrhythmias in general uh, can be divided into uh, rhythms abnormal rhythms that arise from the upper chamber or some of them which arise from the lower chamber usually the rhythm disorders that arise from the upper chamber are uh, not uh, ominous and uh, the ones that arise from the lower chamber can be uh, ominous and can lead to fatal events uh, the reasons for ar- ar- arrhythmia arrhythmias are several uh most commonly what we see in practices due to uh, past cardiac issues like somebody having a heart attack in the past can subsequently develop arrhythmic disorders some of them happen in absolutely normal hearts due to genetic disorders and also you have rhythm uh, rhythm disorders due to you know uh, hypertension and diabetes which have been long standing which leads to uh, chamber dilatations of the heart and therefore when the chambers of the heart dilate you can get to them disorders from those chambers that are dilated too see yeah so commonest presentation patient presents as palpitation or nenjidippu nu paranju varum some of them actually nenjidippaata thodangite pinne they sweat and then they will have a faint bodhakeda bodhakeda present uh, cheyam these are the usual symptoms and some of these news that we hear uh, so called sudden cardiac death kolanje velunnu marichu povanu parayam these are also uh, due to cardiac rhythm disorders uh, so commonest presentation if you ask is due, they present as palpitation or nenjidip some of them may, may not feel palpitation they may present as breathlessness or chest pain no chest pain also but the commonest way they present is palpitation when somebody comes with these symptoms so nenji dipato ille keda pato chest pain ana varumbo when patient presents as palpitation then most physicians or cardiologists will suspect rhythm disorders and then we order an ecg often times patient palpitation paranju varum pinna palpitation subsides then the ecg is normal so what we do is we do continuous ecg monitoring or something called holter recordings so these recordings machines are given from say for 24 hours to even you can do it for 15 days so if 15 days there is any one day some palpitation normal then the ecg gets recorded uh, some of the patients who are not willing to do this then we tell the patient that when they have palpitation tottadathulla evadengilum ecg lab la konde ecg eduthal that that's the way we document nenjidippu parayna samayathila if you have an ecg that's the proof of what rhythm disorder is so basically it's ecg recording at the time of symptoms that what clenches the diagnosis see those days uh, rhythm disorders were managed with medic- medications uh, then the medic- medicines were anti arrhythmic drugs ana no? low or four type of drugs are there that we used to be using even now that's used but in addition when patient symptoms are refractory or patients in the symptom it doesn't subside with these drugs then the options are something called radio frequency ablation uh some of these uh, disorders are due to simple circuits in the heart which actually can be burnt and the rhythm disorders can be resolved some of them will require um, uh, more labor intense and more sophisticated uh, systems we call we, what we call 3d mapping systems where uh, the focus may not be a single point there could be multiple focus within the heart then angana angil map cheyidu korcha neram eduthu we kind of burn all these points that from where this abnormal rhythm is coming uh some of these uh, ablations need not be 100% successful in such scenarios in addition to ablation we also uh, you know give these devices called uh, automatic implantable defibrillators where uh, this is like a pacemaker which is implanted uh, above the muscle at the left pectoral region and if this rhythm comes 
the machine itself will detect and give a shock to terminate the rhythm. So cardio version is what you see in the movies and thing. You know, you have two paddles where a uh, hundred or say up to two hundred joule shock is given, and this transiently corrects corrects the rhythm. Uh, this is one method that's used. It's a temporary phenomenon. This is done in every emergency room when somebody comes with a abnormal rhythm. Uh, in fact, uh, this is even placed in most uh, in you know airports and station public places. It's called automatic external defibrillator. Other, it gives you prompts. Uh, in fact, that's the only best way of preventing these sudden deaths. We we never know who is going to have a fatal event. Angi na oru public space lo vachu oru tar kollanje vellanal. You this machines are installed in every public. places if, if you take the machine and then place it on the patient two paddles the machine will give you prompts abnormal rhythm and it will say it's going to shock the machine itself will detect and uh, shock the abnormal rhythm to a normal rhythm in the hospital this is done by medic medical personnel where you analyze the rhythm and then you give a appropriate shock uh, uh, in the western world europe and U us every every malls every place they have these uh, so called aeds automatic external defibrillator uh, in india it's slowly coming up like in kerala i think kochi airports have aeds i think uh, ernakulam junction has aeds i think it's good that we install all these aeds in most patients and people should get familiar to use it it's not such a uh, very uh, labor task i mean intense task to do you just have to place the paddles and the machine will give you prompts catheter ablation is uh, where wherein we pass in catheters into the body or tube pole all angiography ellar kanyum adu pole thana ee catheters um it is passed through the vein into the heart and then uh, once this abnormal rhythm is there we try to map and find out where this focus is and then try to give a burn which will give at our uh, about a 5 to 8 mm lesion it is uh, this lesion happens because of thermal injury this is essentially a high frequency alternating current that is given and then that's burn so we also do using x ray systems but when there is complex arrhythmias then we need a 3d mapping system which uses a magnetic system which will actually create a structure of the heart so uh, it helps us decrease of fluoro x ray on the patient and also on the operator and also it helps us to map the arrhythmia much better and uh, the success rates are much higher in comparison to when we use only x-ray to ablate this